Hey everybody, it's Chris from Squatch Survival Gear. I hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, so just, we've got some things coming. Um, we're down to the final uh, days before shipping the the new Yowies. So we'll have some really great pictures of those once they arrive. We'll probably do a little unboxing video. But uh, I want to take a minute to talk about the importance of a compass when you go out into the woods. Um, this is a military lensatic compass. If you're familiar with it, um, it'll let you really hit a good azimuth and walk, walk your azimuth. Um, but you don't need something this, you know, this sophisticated. This little guy, this little guy, he actually works the same way. What most people don't realize is when you go into the woods and you, you decide, hey, I'm going to walk west. Like, I'm going to walk in this direction. You take your compass out and go, I am walking. It's got just the cardinal directions, north, northeast, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, right? So you're like, okay, I'm walking generally south, right? So you're, you're walking that way. And when you walk and you get someplace and you're ready to turn around and go back, then it's really simple. You turn around and you start walking north, the exact opposite. One of the other really great things that you can do, especially if you're walking or hiking in an area you're not familiar with, is to do what Bigfoot always does, turn and look over his shoulder, right? You do that in case you got to come back that way, you know what it looks like. I recommend you do this at um, frequently, but especially at any place where you stop for any length of time. Turn around, look back where you've come from. What that does is that locks that in your brain Okay, that if you're going to have to come back eventually, you start understanding what the train looks like coming from the other direction. One of the things that, that happens when people get lost is when they're out in the woods, because they've never turned around and seen the terrain from the opposite direction. When they turn around, they get misoriented. And the first time they encounter something that looks familiar when they were going out, they tend to veer towards it because it's familiar, okay? And that, that leads to people getting lost because they're not actually following the azimuth back. They're going off their faulty memory of, oh, that looks familiar, but you've only been traveling one direction. There are lots of other tricks. Um, Maybe we'll get into that as we go along, but this is definitely one I want to share with you because this, this little guy, um, is very useful. Um, when I was a young private, a lot of my sergeants just had these little compasses and that's pretty much, you know, they got their general orientation based off of that when they were doing terrain association land nav. And it, <clears throat> um, because of their tutelage, that was stuff that I, I learned um, to understand how to do those things. And so I want to share that because a lot of people like to go out to the woods and, hey, they, they'd like to get off the trail, but, you know, they don't feel comfortable with getting off the trail. So that's one of the ways that you can get off the trail. Also, always mark where you came off the trail. Anything high vis, uh, the VS17 panel that we talked about would be really good. So that's your tip for today. Squatch out.